Go to speaker. Do you believe that your message in the Situation Room yesterday about de-escalation may have played a role in the President's decision to pull back last night? Well, I think the message was bipartisan in terms of de-escalating, uh, based on a couple of things. First of all, uh, we have no illusions about Iran. It's a very dangerous country, uh, and there are divisions within the country about hardliners versus others. Uh, there was bipartisan consensus that we didn't want to do anything that would strengthen the hand of hardliners in Iran because uh, that just makes matters worse. Consensus that we should be working with our allies in whatever we do and calibrating a response that is strategic and serious about the challenge we face. And the partisanship as to what are our objectives in the region. We have to uh, to protect American interests, but how do we define what they are? And uh, so uh, we left with the idea that the president was going to consider some options. I did not receive any heads up uh, that there was any strike that was uh, uh, in the works. Uh, maybe the other leaders did on uh, the government side, but I, I did not receive any. And that would be a departure. The president has have you spoken to the president today at all? No, and what? I haven't spoken to the president today. Are you pleased in his decision not to strike? Not to, to oh, strike? Absolutely. No, no, I can't. I, I, I don't know how imminent the strike was if you're different things. Uh, but the uh, strike of that amount of blood and damage would be very provocative. And in fact, the president did not take that. We think there are many options that are not what they call kinetic, that is to say, strike in the country uh, that might be more useful, but those are options. It's considered you know, very clear. Democrats in the meeting, House and Senate Democrats are very clear uh, that Congress must act. Uh, it must have the authority of Congress uh, before we initiate the military hostilities in the military. But the president seems to suggest that he found out about the um, apparent like, death toll that they had gone through the strike just moments before they would have You know, I don't know the time when the president learned uh, the consequences of it. I, I don't even know how off the ground these points were. I mean, that's something you just have to ask the other governments. But I would imagine that it would make sense uh, if you are considering options that you know what the consequences are before you make a decision to go forward. Will you be Thank expressing you your Thank concerns you. to the White Thank House you. that you weren't notified? Will you be telling the White House that you'd like to be notified in the future? I'm sorry, I don't know what you're saying. Since you weren't notified beforehand, will you be letting the White House know that you would like to be notified in the future? If they what they, again, what is our objective? What are our interests? How do we define them? Not as broadly as I've been hearing some define them in terms of other countries. Uh, what are our interests? How do we define our interests? How do we engage our um, our allies uh, and um, how we do to take actions which do not inflame the situation. De-escalate, de-escalate, de-escalate. Take a deep breath. Is it hard? And de-escalate. Is it harder?